Hello. A slightly more scenic background today. My stomach feel, is feeling much better, so I've actually been able to eat today, which when you're in a city like, or when you're in a country like Thailand, being able to eat whatever you want is kind of a blessing, because bland food, when you want to have spicy food, is just torture. Anyway, um, but uh, just be careful, I got the this hotel fairly close to the previous hotel. Or it was just kind of off the river. It was several stops, or the canal, was several stops away, but very little walking. This morning I got the uh, breakfast buffet at uh, the previous hotel. I was a little worried when I was having breakfast because I thought I was going to have something. I should, because like generally when your stomach's upset, you shouldn't have anything spicy, but. Um, been able to handle it, which is good. So that's kind of proof that I'm doing better. That was like the first real meal that I had in the last few days. I didn't actually book this hotel until like literally a couple of minutes before I was walking out of the next or this previous hotel because I wasn't sure like how far I'd be able to walk. So this hotel is pretty much just like a couple blocks um, north of the hotel I stayed at when I was recording from the kitchen area. I think that was like the, I don't know, like the fifth or sixth day or something. I don't know. It all blurs together. Um, so I'm a little disappointed that I'm in the same area. Not, nothing wrong with this area, but I'm trying to see different parts of the city, so I'm kind of upset that I am backtracking. But it's, I, I still like this area. It's, there's, as far as extreme photography, this is one of the busier, busier areas. So before I headed towards this hotel, I went to see a movie. At it. There was a theater nearby the last hotel. Uh, in Bangkok, <clears throat> because the beers here aren't that good, they uh, often drink it on ice. This is actually the first time I've had beer on ice, so let's see how that goes. It's like there's no... It's like I barely poured it and it's full. Alright. I mean, it's cold, but it's that just makes it flat, I think. Yeah, that just makes it flat. The bottle's not flat. So basically, they drink their beer here like they drink whiskey, and the beer is not nearly as good as whiskey. The theater was interesting. They had these like set meals you can get, and then I was gonna get one that had like a chicken sausage, which is actually something I had at breakfast. Which it looks like a hot dog, and it honestly just tastes like a hot dog. But, but it was like chicken sausage and a hot uh, and a popcorn and a drink, and I think there's something else, and they were out of that, so I didn't get anything to eat because I wasn't that hungry. The movie I saw was called uh, Thailand Only which I have not been able to find anything about online. Like even going into the movie, I only knew about it based on uh, advertisements or just billboards I saw around uh, subway stations and um, looking at the movies that were available at the theater that day. That was the only like Thai movie and I wanted to experience Thai cinema. It was, it was an interesting movie. It had uh, English subtitles. Just based on the uh, ads at the subway stations, I thought it was like a TV show, like almost like a slapstick, like Amazing Race kind of thing. So it was weird going into a movie knowing nothing about it, <laughs> not even knowing if it was like well received or anything. Like I could have been seeing like Scary Movie Seven. Yeah, why would that be the preferred? There wasn't that many uh, trailers before the movie, so I don't know if they couldn't get that many uh, like uh, sponsorships or whatever or deals made. Um, I think there was like maybe four or five trailers, and then the rest of the like time before the movie was taken up by like normal just ads for like uh, not medicine, but um, there was one that was like a uh, like painkiller. I think there was some that were like more beauty products. Before the movie started, uh, there was a uh, message saying like, "Please stand in honor of the King of Thailand." The uh, theater was fairly empty because this was it's basically like noon on a Friday. There's a couple people behind me, so like. I was kind of looking back to them to see if, like, if they were going to stand up, then I'll stand up. They did, so I stood up. Showed a montage of the king and then his uh, father who had passed away recently. One thing that I was not expecting, although actually I read about this, but I didn't think about it as I was going into this, um, in that there's different, like, tiers of theaters, which, I mean, there's different tiers all around the world, but, like, the tier that I went to was one that didn't have air conditioning. So... Today is a day where it's fairly muggy. Um, there was actually some rain. It was a little rough going from muggy to no air conditioning 
too muggy again. Like I haven't had a chance to really do laundry um, the last few days. Like uh, normally I do my clothes in the sink with shampoo or body wash or whatever, and it pretty much does the job. But because I've been feeling under the weather, I haven't really had the energy to do that, and uh, so I've been feeling kind of gross. Although. I haven't been walking as much, so the clothes haven't been getting as dirty. The movie is interesting. It was much darker than I thought it would be. I don't know if the movie itself was edgier in terms, or in local terms, or uh, if, like, Thai comedy is just different than what we're used to. There was a lot of uh, gay and cross-dressing jokes, and then there was, like, <laughs> brutal deaths towards the end, and, uh, I guess, spoilers. Um, if you can find the movie. <laughs> there was, like, some racial slurs, but I don't know if that was just in the subtitles that it made it look that bad. It, it was a good movie, it's just I, it's like I had no idea what I was getting into. Um, but it was good. Not like amazing, but it was, it was interesting. As I was leaving the theater, I saw that, like I said, it was starting to rain. And living in Vegas, I kind of forgot what like actual storm clouds looked like. There, it's like you would just kind of see clouds. Here, it's like the sky is just gray. Like, not even like some gradients of gray, it's just, just solid gray. Actually, really, there was really no major rain. There's just some, it's like very heavy, heavy droplets occasionally as I was walking to the hotel. The boat um, was kind of standing room only. It was a little awkward, um, but it actually gave me more flexibility as far as uh, taking photos. Um, although it was kind of awkward to keep crouching and standing up because I don't want to be standing up while taking photos, but I don't want to be constantly crouching because it kind of hurts my legs and my knees. Why? It's like basically if you just like mixed a bunch of like water with flat soda, I guess. Like there's like no flavor. It's like, like tonic water with a bunch of water in it. I mean, Thai beer is not that great, but at this point it's just, you're just drinking water with the hopes that you will get some kind of a buzz. But so I was able to get some decent photos coming to the new hotel. I was debating where I wanted to eat. I wasn't sure uh, how much time I had before the rain really started kicking in. But so I took a gamble and went to, uh, there's a, like a little mini mall across the street from, or fairly close to the next, or this current hostel. They had a Japanese restaurant. So I had some uh, ramen there and some uh, green tea. And that was like, I think came out to like three bucks. So it, it's, it's crazy how cheap things can be here. So I checked in, it's, the room was fairly quiet for a while. Uh, I thought there was someone sleeping, but then uh, it's sort of like in hotel rooms, like the air conditioning won't turn on until you put your uh, card in. And so in hostels, if no one's in, if like the air conditioning won't go on until at least someone puts their card in. So once I put my card in, I, the air conditioning went on, so I realized that no one else is in the room, unless they're sadists. For dinner, I headed down to, uh, there's a little bar, restaurant, all the Craft 23. They have a lot of uh, craft beer from around the world. It actually I felt like Austin, I guess part of it's the humidity and then they didn't have any Texas beers, but it was a very American feeling thing. So it's kind of nice having a little taste at home. <laughs> the area that I'm staying in is again, um, going back to that other night, it's a uh, near, which actually I've looked into it. It's not just a nightlife place. It's it's, it is a red light district. Um, I haven't really walked around there at night. Um, I think last time I got out there was like at 3 a.m. So it was pretty much empty at that point. And then the earlier time I'd gotten there was like 6 p.m. So nothing really happened at that point. Across the street and kind of perpendicular to, or it was along the road that I had to go to get between the bar that I was coming from and the hotel. Um, there's a lot of uh, massage parlors. And uh, across from them was a hotel called a Pullman, which uh, takes on a whole new meaning um, when it's across from a bunch of uh, Thai massage parlors. This hostel, like a couple other hostels had this, but because I hadn't um, done laundry for the last few days, I'm taking advantage of it. Um, there's a actual legitimate laundry facilities here, which I haven't actually done a real load of laundry, or as far as using real uh, equipment since I've flown out here. So it's been like two weeks. And again, the my, my clothing's kind of antimicrobial, anti-moisture, anti so it hasn't been too much of an issue, and I've been washing them in the sink with the soap and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's, I 
been feeling gross these last few days. It was a little weird. Like, you have to pay in 10 bot coins, which I didn't have any of. You need four of those just for the washing machine, and then you need, uh, I don't even know if I could dry them. I can't remember how much it is. Um, although, I could probably just kind of set them out in my... This is basically like a capsule hotel, so I could... Or we're just gonna set them out to dry. The wash is gonna take like an hour, and like I don't have a full load of laundry. Like um, I, I had this dilemma today. Like I don't know if I wanted to pick up uh, just a spare T-shirt and spare pair of shorts just to wear while I was washing everything else, because I basically just have like two shirts and two pants and a few pairs of underwear and a few pairs of socks. Without doing that, I can only wash basically half of my wardrobe at a time, because I can't just like sit up here naked. Um, or can I? It's frustrating to pay that much for what's essentially like a tenth of a load. <clears throat> I was going to say it tastes like whiskey if you just leave a little bit of the whiskey and then just let a bunch of ice cubes melt. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while, rather than just sitting in the room. Although, the noise, the sound quality is usually better in the rooms. I haven't really decided what I'm doing this weekend, or just tomorrow even. Um, but now that my stomach's gotten more under control, um, I can start actually doing stuff again, even if it is just kind of wandering. Like, most of the stuff I'm doing around town is free, so we're just kind of wandering around shopping centers um, or streets. The videos should get more um, interesting, other than me just talking <laughs> about my health. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm going to try to get through this beer. Probably not not, not rely on the ice, because it's that was a bad... I didn't even ask for the ice, but that's just how they do it here, so I didn't even think to not ask for the ice until tomorrow. I guess that's my catchphrase. <laughs> it's the most efficient way of just ending it, so. Until tomorrow.